Hello and welcome! My name is Bonnie and today I'm going to be unboxing the June 2019 Fallout Loot Crate. Yes, you heard me right. This is the June box that I am receiving at the end of September. If you did not know, Loot Crate is going through bankruptcy. They are being purchased and for a few months they weren't sending out any boxes, any crates, but it looks like they're finally trying to get back on track and I have finally received my June box. The theme for this is scavenged and I'm ready to just go ahead and cut my way in. So the first thing I always do is open up the box and look at the image on the inside and that is going to be the weapon replica that we're going to get today. So I'm just going to set this to the side and pull out our first item. Okay, and our first item out of the box is a box and it is a Fallout Fortune Finder perk figure, I would assume. All right, it says powered by Loot Crate, Loot Crate screenshots. This is this is a Loot Crate item, not a loot, not a Fallout Loot Crate. I have this already. Oh god, okay. <laughs> oh no. They put... No! They put a recycled item in the Fallout Loot Crate. I thought Fallout was safe from recycled items, because if you did not know, Loot Crate has been putting recycled items in their standard NDX boxes for months and they have struck the Fallout Loot Crate. Let me get my other one to show you. Now I have twins. So this figure arrived in the December Loot Crate. I believe its theme was also scavenge. And here is my new one, completely identical. The bases are the same. So I'm not happy right now. That is a huge letdown. I thought maybe the Fallout crate was going to be safe from recycled items, but of course it is not. And now I have to process my thoughts because I'm mad. Okay, I'm going to dive in for the next item, which is another box. And this is our replica the reckoning replica go ahead and cut this open and pull it out and show you so here we have our reckoning replica it has got some nice details and the paint job is pretty good although the front is a lot more detailed than the back as you can notice but because it's a display piece i guess that they can get away with it um i don't use melee weapons in fallout 4 i I have not used this one, but I think it looks really cool. I like to snipe. I am a long range fighter. I like to snipe and when I get close, I use a shotgun. So this is not one that I've used, but I can still appreciate it. Okay, I'm just gonna reach in for the next item and oh my gosh. Wow, okay, this is really cool. Astoundingly awesome tales. Fallout crate notebook set. Oh, there's there's two. There's two. Oh my gosh. This is cool. I have got astoundingly awesome tales, attack of the fishmen, and Tesla Science Magazine, giant super weapons. And this is what the inside of the notebooks look like. They are very withered. Looks like they have gone through the apocalypse. Very cool. Okay, this is what I like to see. Something new, something unique, and something that you can't find elsewhere. I really like these. Diving back in. And I have got a little box. Oh, this is going to be the next piece in our Build-A-Figure. This is going to be one of the arms for Liberty Prime. Let me get this out. All right, so here is Liberty Prime's arm, his hand, detailed work on that. And here's his body so far. We've got both legs and the torso. And now finally we have an arm, so I'm just gonna 
plug that in and here's how he's looking right now he needs another arm and his head I'm pretty sure that the last thing in here is the pin so that's funny we got the fortune finder perk pin and that's the figure that had come in this box so I now have two figures of the fortune finder perk and a pin of it so here he is in all gold he looks good I do like these pins I think they're really pretty I like that they're gold and it has two pin backs and yeah looks good so then the last thing to do is to look at the recap card from the crate it's got this really nice artwork on the back of it and then on the other side it lists everything that I received today and there was a total of five items well let's see one of them is recycled one of them is a Build-A-Figure, and one of them is a little pin. So that means there was only two big items in this crate, which is disappointing for me. I mean, yes, there were three big items, but I already had it, so that doesn't count for me. Um, so yeah, that's disappointing. I did really like these magazine notebook things. I think they're really cool, but this was not a success for me. So overall, like I just said, I don't think that this crate was much of a success for me. I do have a favorite item, which is these notebooks. And if you didn't know why I'm so excited by them, they are replicas of magazines that you find inside the game. So these are from in the game, if you didn't know that. Really cool magazines and comic books that you can find in the game and they give you like special perks. My least favorite item from this crate, if you haven't guessed already, is the thing I already have. Although to be completely honest and fair, if you have not received this previously, it would be exciting to get because it is a good quality item. It's sturdy, it's vinyl, it looks good. So yes, some people might be really jazzed about receiving this, I'm just not because I already have it. So this one I'll probably give to a friend. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me so that I know that you liked it. And if you have not yet already and would like to, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I hope to see you again soon. And until next time, goodbye and good luck.